And now, Spencer and Barika's 3 by 2 art to do. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Uh, I'm going to start off. Now through January 22nd, two of New York City's most vital and glamorous industries, entertainment and fashion, have been intertwined in the New York Public Library exhibition On Stage in Fashion. This exhibition celebrates the collaboration of performers with fashion designers who together brought contemporary clothing style to theater, opera, and dance. The couture, sportswear, and retail designers recognized that the introduction of clothing on stage would promote it to their target market, the performance audience. The co-curators have selected garments from the fashion and costume collections of the Museum of New York City and designers, uh, photographs, and media from the New York Public Library for the Performing Arts to illustrate over 100 years of these collaborations for mutual benefit. Last week, our Hollis Witherspoon reviewed Black Swan, saying that while it told the story of a ballerina whose artistic ambition was commendable, it was a bit camp. But why not find out for yourself and watch this film and others that follow the, the themes of career dreams and their nightmares at the Walter Reed Theater today and tomorrow. They are doing, a, doing <coughs> screenings of Darren Aronofsky's films, Pie, Requiem for a Dream, The Fountain, and The, Rest, and the Wrestler. The director will attend talkbacks, and I dare you to ask him what his director nightmare is. <laughs> hey, while you're at the New York Public Library seeing how fashion and performance have influenced each other, you should stop by another exhibit there showcasing the connection between Judaism, Christianity, and Islam called Three Faiths. Jews, Christians, and Muslims have each created a rich body of founding texts and interpretations for their respective faiths, each of which derives from the teachings of Abraham. This exhibition displays the connections and differences among them, explaining their development in beautiful, historic detail, now through February 22nd, 7th. Sorry. Acclaimed film direct, filmmaker of Easy Rider and Raging Bull, Kenneth Bowser, has a new film about fil folk singer and fan and, uh, and favorite here at WBAI, Phil Oakes, who rose to fame during the height of the 60s protest movement. Phil Oaks there, but, but for Fortune, will be opening at the IFC Center tomorrow. And after the 720 showings on Wednesday and Thursday, producer and brother of Phil Oaks, Michael Oaks, and director Kenneth Browser will be doing a Q&A. For those of you who aren't aware, nine Broadway shows closed on Sunday, including Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson, Promises, Promises, Fela, West Side Story, and The Pee Wee Herman Show. Which I wanted to see. Well, now you can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> but on January 9th, four more great shows are going to be closing their doors, so this is your last week to go see them. Those shows are Labette, A Free Man of Color, In the Heights, and A Little Night Music. So please, go get your tickets. Go visit your local TKTS booth, or check out the Art to Do tab on our website where we've posted information on picking up Broadway lottery tickets. Get your tickets before these great theater experiences are gone. Be a little daring, a little extravagant, and a little less clothed in the first nine days of the new year. Improv Everywhere, the creator of the ultimate flash mob, the creator, per se, um, is having their annual No Pants Subway ride. If you don't plan to participate, you might find that you're participating anyways, if you happen to be running the subways on Sunday, January 9th, between 3 and 6 p.m. As if the subways weren't costing us the pants that we wear anyways. <laughs> and remember, all of our artistic things to do in New York City are on our website, theartsyfartsyshow.com, as well ex as extended stories and web-exclusive stories. Um, so click on the Art To Do tab. All right, so moving on. 